Hello, my people right there. It's nice to see you. Do you like fish? Because fishes are amazing. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so many people got got. Oh, that was so sad. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Roblox. Today, we're back playing some Death Run. And as you guys can see, I'm sure behind me, if you can even see behind my webcam right now, maybe it looks exactly the same. I'm not too sure. But I have officially moved to a new house. And I could not be more excited, guys. It was such a crazy move. Last second, if you guys didn't know, we've been planning to move to Florida for a little while because we really wanted to be as close to Disney World as possible. And we just figured moving to Florida could be one of the best things that we could possibly do just so we could create tons of fun content and stuff for you guys and just enjoy our time. So we decided to move to Florida and it has been, like I was saying earlier, it has been crazy. The first thing that we decided to do of course, because it's what you do when you want to move to a new place, is you go to rent a truck. You need to put all your stuff in a truck in order to move it all the way down to wherever you're going. And what we did is we're like, you know what? We're going to go with this specific company. I'm not going to mention the company because I don't necessarily care to like ruin the company's the stuff. Am I the only one left? Oh, no, I'm the only one left. Nibbles, I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to make this. But we're definitely going to do our best. Do we, we trick him? Uh oh, the hand is so close. No, 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 no. Ah. Here we go. Woo! Ah, <laughs> Did we do it? Oh my goodness. No, please, Mr. Death Person. Uh oh. Oh, the hand's right there. We gotta go. Yee! Run, 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 run. No! <laughs> I think that was basically gonna be impossible. There was no way to do that. But, anyways, we rented this truck and we made the reservation maybe three weeks in advance. So we were totally okay to rent the truck and everything was good. One day before we were supposed to actually go and pick up the truck in order to load all of our stuff into it, they call me and they say, hey, Ryan, I just wanted to let you know that we don't have a truck for you. And I said, okay, so what do I need to do? And they pretty much just went, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They kind of tried to help, but they were like, we don't have a truck for you. It's pretty much up to you to find a truck for you. So good luck. Hopefully you find a truck. And I'm like, what? That doesn't make any sense. What just happened with that round? Honestly, I don't even know what's going on in the game right now. I don't even know how I ended up being the last person to survive in the last one. Oh, I'm the death this time. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. Uh-oh, okay, wait. My story might have to go on hold for a second because I want to really focus on being the death person right now. Hello, my people right there. It's nice to see you. Do you like fish? Because fishes are amazing. Ah! <laughs> oh no, <laughs> so many people got got. Oh, that was so sad. My fishy cousins have destroyed you all. Okay, now it's time for the purple smoke which will be then letting you all go. Yeah! Okay, perfect. I'm so excited. I don't get to be the death very often. So this is going to be so much fun. Look at me laughing. I'm like, oh, I am so evil. I am such evil fishy. Oh, did we do it? Uh-oh. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, that was a super waste. Uh-oh. What is this trap right here? Ooh, is this the... Is this lasers or something or fireworks? I feel like some kind of explosions happen here. Good luck. I say good. Oh, he made it. <gasps> How did he make it? Oh my goodness, this guy is so good. Wait, get back here, get back here, get back here. Click, 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 click. Ah, get him, get him, get him. Did we get him? This guy is so good. How are you so good at this game? We are totally failing at being the death person right now. Hold on, let me go ahead and go up here and see what I can do. There's a big group of them. I think one of these stays. I don't remember if it's random or if a specific one stays, but I'm not gonna let them trick me. Not gonna let them trick me, no. Oh, oh, get him, yes! Did I do it? Yes, okay. I don't remember if that was the guy that was really good or not, but we got that guy, which is awesome. Okay, this next one is like the ironing board that flaps out and whacks you in the head. So we're gonna go now. Whoa! Oh, that person just went right through it. I don't know how that just happened. Go get the diamond. Doesn't the diamond look delicious and tasty? Oh, it looks so good. Maybe you guys should totally cross as I blow you off the map, woohoo! <gasps> Oh, I was going to say, how did that person... Wait, are they going to make it? Oh, they're so lucky. They survived on their stomach. Eee, spikes. Rawr. Did we get him? I, don't, I, don't, I can't see if we got him or not. I don't think we got him. Two people left. I have a bad feeling about this, everybody. I'm not too sure if we're going to successfully be able to cat... Oh, that was a fail. Yep, that was probably as big of a fail as I could have done. So, yep. And then the last one is the ooze. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Uh-oh. No, do we get him? Oh no, but there's still one person. <gasps> no, no. Oh, did we do it? Hey, I don't know how they uh, died there. That was really weird because if they threw the potion down, usually it like creates this thing. So I don't know. Yeah, even they said in the chat, they're like, how did I die? 
I have no idea how you died. You probably should have won. So I'm going to take that one as a loss, but I'll accept the XP in the coin. Anyways, back to my story. Uh, the company that we we're going to use for a truck, they said, yeah, sorry, no truck. Goodbye. So I was like, okay, never mind. I'm not even going to use that company. I'm going to go and I'm going to find a different company to rent a truck from. The company we went to ended up being way better in every aspect. They were cheaper. They were more like reliable. Their trucks were better. There's pretty much just there was no reason to go with the other company in the first place. So this new company was just amazing. So we liked them a lot. So at this point, we had a truck, which is really, really cool because we needed obviously to have a truck in order to successfully do this move. What is this first trap? Um, is he AFK? Uh oh. He AFK for real, or is he just pretending to be AFK so he can get us all, make us, make him think, or make us think, can't speak, make us think that he's AFK? I don't know. He might actually just be AFK. Okay, well, this is going to be a really good time to finish telling my story. So we had a truck, and we also had two people that were supposed to come and help us. We hired two people to help us move all of our stuff because we knew that we had a lot of stuff to move. So we knew there was no way that Lastic and I would be able to do it all. So what we did is we hired these two people for four hours of work so that they could come and help us move all of our stuff into the truck. So they get here and they look at all of our stuff in both of our apartments and they're like, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. I think you should have hired four people. And I didn't even know that we could hire four people. So I was so confused as to why they were saying I should have hired four if it didn't even give me the option to buy four or to buy four, to, to rent. Uh, what would the right word be? Um, hire four. There we go. It wouldn't be, I couldn't find the option to hire four people. So they said, no problem. We'll still get it done. No worries. So we had them, like I said, for four hours of work. So we start working and one hour passes and two hours pass and three hours pass and four hours pass and six hours pass and 10 hours pass. And I sent them home. We were working from two in the afternoon, actually about 1.30 in the afternoon, all the way until midnight. And it got to a point where we were just like, uh, oh my goodness, there's still some work to do. Actually, there was still a lot of work to do, but I just felt so bad because these two poor workers, they were like, oh, like, don't worry, we'll stay, no problem. I'm like, no, I just felt so bad because it was so much more work than they had originally anticipated. So after so much hard labor and Lastic and I both lived on the third floor. So we climbed so many stairs that day. On my watch, it tells me how many flights of stairs I climbed per day. And so that first day, it said I climbed 72 flights of stairs. That's how many times we were just going up and down stairs in order to, oh my goodness, that person, they just went flying into the water. I really apologize. That was a really bad way to go. But yeah, it was an insane amount of stairs that we had to climb that day. I feel so spooky. Okay, nailed it. Okay, did I do it? <gasps> Did it. Okay, this next one's gonna be hard though. Um, we're still gonna be able to do it. Oh no! Did we get the? Oh, I thought it was gonna launch us into the diamond. <laughs> no, it's so sad. You can do it, Coco. I believe in you. Oh, oh, that was really close. That was actually a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. She's the last person left too. Uh, you can do it, Coco. I believe in you. So I sent them home that night at midnight, and we were just so exhausted. Everybody was so tired. <laughs> Look at her. Everybody was so tired from working the entire day. The next day, like I said, we still had a lot of work to do on the last day. And so Lastic and I just worked our butts off for the entirety pretty much of the next day as much as we could work. And we finally got my apartment cleared out and we got most of Lastic's apartment cleared out and packed into the truck. And it was just like, Ugh. and keep in mind, I don't think I mentioned this, but the second day we actually had to, that was the same day that we were gonna drive. Oh. Coco didn't make it. But the second day was the same day that we actually had to drive or at least start our drive to go from all the way from New Hampshire all the way down to Florida. And so we were like packing all this and the day still wasn't done. We went and picked up my brother from the airport because he was helping me actually drive the truck down to Florida, which was awesome. I was very thankful to have him do that. But we were just super duper exhausted. And so we finally got everything packed as much as we could pack into the truck. My brother came, he took the truck away. And then we started driving down. Now, honestly, after physically walking up and down so many flights of stairs and doing so much physical labor for the past, like pretty much, what, 23 hours or so? Like, I think at that point, I hadn't slept for 40 hours. That's how crazy this entire thing was. It was ridiculous how much just like exhaustion there was that was involved. But ultimately we got through it. We got through as much packing as we could. My brother left with the truck. We started on our journey. But since we had just been doing so much packing for the last few days, it felt 
so good to just sit in a car and drive. Normally driving is like, oh, we gotta drive like 20 hours to get to Florida. That part seemed so easy compared to what we had to do from like the past few days or the previous few days. So we started our drive down to Florida. We make it about five or so hours away. And then we just got a hotel there, which was fine. We just wanted to get past a certain point. So we made it to our hotel, which was awesome. As soon as we got in the car to start driving, everything seemed great until my brother calls me and he says, hey, there's something wrong with the truck. I don't know what it is. Apparently there's a little light that comes on the dashboard of the truck that tells you if something is wrong with the engine of the car. Ooh, where did that person just go? <gasps> How did they do that? I'm super scared. I'm gonna hang out back here. You guys just do your thing. Hopefully the hand, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. So he calls me and said, there's something wrong with the truck, but he said, it's still driving. It's still fine. It's just, there's a little light that comes on the dash that says there's something wrong with the engine. Like, okay, well, I guess just keep me updated and let me know if anything bad happens. And he said, okay. So, oh no, I just walked straight into those barrels. I didn't have to do that, no. This was probably not the best choice of games to play while I wanted to tell a story because I kind of have to focus on this game, but I feel like we've been doing pretty well. So I'm gonna continue with it. So the next morning we wake up and we start our drive. I call my brother, he says, hey, I'm somewhere in, cause they just wanted to drive straight through. So he was already in like North Carolina by the time I called him and he said, hey, the truck's been going on and off, kind of running fine, kind of not running fine. And we're like, okay, we'll just keep us updated. Hopefully nothing happens. We drive for a long ways. He is about 200 plus, like between 200 and 250 miles from our destination. Oh, I'm the death person again. This is amazing. I will take you all out with whatever this does because I don't know this map very well. Arr! Did we do it? Oh my goodness. We got three people. That was so good. So he's about 250 miles out from the destination. And he calls me and he says, hey, the truck died. The truck completely broke down. And remember, it took us like 20 plus hours to pack the truck in the first place. So there was no way in the world that we were going to unpack the stuff and get a new truck and then pack the stuff back into it because it would have just taken way too long, especially to do on the side of the road. So we called the company that we rented the truck from and the good thing is this company that we rented from was so, so helpful with everything that we needed. They were just, they helped us out on everything. And so it made it so much better. So we called them and they tried to fix the truck and they weren't able to fix the truck. So they said, you know what? We're just gonna tow the truck all the way to the destination for you. No problem, it'll be free. You guys don't have to pay anything. It won't be a big deal at all. And I was so relieved to hear that at that point, but I just couldn't believe after all of this stressful move, we had a problem like that. So I was just ready to get the truck to the location. And at that point, last week and I hadn't decided whether or not we were actually going to travel all the way to our destination on the second day. But because of that, we decided that we pretty much had to travel all the way to our destination on that second day. So we ended up having to drive for 15 hours. I think around 15, 15 or 16, I think it was 15. We ended up driving for 15 hours on that second day, which is not what we intended to do, but we did it. We met with the tow truck driver. We drove there and we met the tow truck driver at the final location. I'm just gonna flip this now, I'll let him go. But we met the tow truck driver about three o'clock in the morning and he dropped it off at our house and we were like, yes, we finally have the truck. Everything is good to go. And it just, at that point, it was such a relief to just have the truck at our new house without any issues or like hopefully not any farther issues. And the good thing was the company, the truck company, they took care of the truck, they took care of everything. And in a way it kind of worked out better for us. It obviously didn't seem like it at the time, but it was kind of a blessing in disguise. Oh yeah, we won, it's the death. That is awesome. But it was kind of a blessing in disguise because we didn't have to pay for gas for the last 200 miles. And uh, also my brother was able to sleep in the next day cause he didn't have to drop off the truck here because the tow truck driver took it here. So in a weird way, it kind of worked out, but we just couldn't believe that after all of this unpacking or all this loading the truck that was stressful, all of the, the time like moving and then the truck broke down, it was just crazy. But I'm very happy to tell you guys, we are at our new location, we have internet, and I should, if everything goes well for the next few weeks, I should be able to start uploading daily again, which I am so excited for. I missed you guys so much. I had so many videos that were pre-recorded and pre-planned that have been going up over the past few weeks. And the I've been only uploading every other day-ish. Like I think before this video, I didn't upload for three days, which is just not what I like to do. I love uploading every single day. So it's just been crazy, but 
I just wanted to share that story with you and let you guys know that we are in Florida. We're probably not going to be doing an entire house tour, but we will be doing like our office tours and stuff as soon as we get them set up. We've been just kind of unpacking so much for the last few days. So as soon as we get things kind of organized, then we'll be then you guys, I guess, can look forward to that. But anyway, that is my moving story. We are in Florida. And I'm so excited to be here. I love Florida so much. It's such an exciting place to be. And we get to be relatively close to Disney. Probably not as close as we wanted to be, but we get to be close to Disney, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Roblox. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like ring down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow for another episode of Roblox or Minecraft or whatever we decide that we want to upload tomorrow. Oh, and if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, what should we type? What should you guys type to confuse the rest of the people that didn't make it to the end of the video? Type, uh, hey there, I like your sword down in the comment section below. <laughs> It'll confuse everybody. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye, guys.